and welcome to Woof Wednesday. Today I'm going to be brushing up on some information that I told you last week about allergies, but this week I'm going to focus on skin allergies and hot spots that your dog may have or bites your dog may have. Now spring and summer is a time when fleas are very rampant as well as any type of pollens and grass is growing and such. And I mentioned that your dog may be allergic to grass last week and this could be a fairly common thing and I suggest that if you notice your dog is really itching or looking at his patty paws that you trim down the fur there. You might also want to wash down their feet before they come inside. Also another great thing to consider is soaking um, chamomile tea bags and placing it on um, the tea bags on your dog's paws. This will give them some temporary relief for that. Um, you might also want to take some of the tea and put a little bit on his food so that um, soothing this can get into their system. Not a whole lot, but just a, just a little bit in order to kind of soften the food up a little bit. Another thing that you might want to consider is if your dog is maybe having a re reaction to fleas is to take some garlic powder. You don't ever want to use pure garlic, but garlic powder and sprinkling some on, your, on their food as well because fleas do not like the taste of garlic and so they'll tend to shy away from it. I'm not a fan of the flea and heartworm medications. You may have um, great success with it and such, but Ozar was allergic to it and it caused her to have seizures. So I am definitely not a fan of those at all and I try to use any other natural type of methods with her in order to deter fleas from her. Another thing that I did for her was I gave her a bath in um, neem oil and a neem Based shampoo and that's spelled N-E-E-M and I will tell you it is not a pleasant smell. It does stink but it also stinks to fleas and fleas will not um, latch on to your dog and bite it or anything like that. There are also like shoes or sock kind of things that you can put on your dog's feet if they are allergic to grass. It's another thing that you can do but I would also keep any type of grass if you have a yard and shrubbery down to a minimum. I would cut it down for your dog's sake so they don't have, so they have a lesser chance of having any type of um, reaction to them. But if you live kind of in an area where you have no choice but to walk your dog, then I would take your dog on a walk and then maybe wash its feet off afterwards. Another thing that you can do is rosemary. Rosemary is also a very good thing to heal hot spots and it's, a, it's something you can just sprinkle a little bit on their food maybe and that's all you need and it's something that they can um, ingest. It's not poisonous to them at all but the things that, like I, that I mentioned ingesting just a little bit. You don't want to overdo it whatsoever. Think of the dosage as you would a small child and you'll have you'll be about right with that. But that's all for Wolf Wednesdays. I hope these tips helped you out and I hope you and your food are going to have a lovely summer. Thank you so much. See you guys next week. Bye.